guys, I'm back with a TK Maxx haul. This stuff's actually, I've had it in my room for ages. I'm in my room just now, hence the bubblegum pink. I have had this stuff for ages. I've been crazy busy. I will explain um, very quickly and as non-rambly as possible. I'm also looking at stuff. If you see me looking over here, it's because I'm looking at stuff. I have one, two, three, four charity shop bags. Some of which have been there for ages and ages. And I can't even remember what's in them, to be honest with you. So I'm going to do the TK Maxx haul because they happen to be piled on top of the charity shop bags. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do the charity shop stuff because I haven't even washed the charity shop stuff. Which means I have to wash it, dry it. It's annoying me. It's all in bags so it's like sort of neatly piled but it's annoying me. So I'm going to get that done. Quick note, um, I was going to bring Fiona in and like lift her up on my knee. But I'm not joking, I tell you she's huge and she's, just, she's massive. I can, oh! creepy I can it's night time and I just looked out and my cat's black and he's sitting against like the window and it's so it's black and then I just saw something moving and it's my cat it's fine he's completely black so he kind of sneaks up in you like that whoa anyway so yes quick update Fiona I will put clips in at the end because I've got little like um pictures and stuff that I took of her and Dora it's so cute and yeah she's massive she's huge she's still gonna uh, she's probably gonna get about double as big um, but yes, she's huge and doing really well and her little eye is still all sort of shriveled and it's still sometimes a little bit out, it still needs to be cleaned out but she is doing very very well, it causes her no pain or anything and she is fine. We'll put clips, pictures at the end. The other thing is, two sort of updates, Mark had pains in his stomach the other week, the other week, I can't, I'm on my dot with dates but he had pains in his stomach and he went to the doctors the week before that, the week before that I think it was my daughter had gastroenteritis so when Mark had these pains in his stomach we thought maybe it was gastroenteritis he went to the doctors thank goodness he went to the doctors when he did because if he didn't he might might be a bit dead right now and I'm very glad that he's not but yes it turned out he had his appendix was infected and very 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 swollen and it could have been a very bad situation and so he was literally went from going to the doctors, rushed to the hospital and then taken into surgery that night so that like scans and everything done and then that night he was taken for emergency surgery. He is absolutely fine, he is now back home, he's still sore because it was just last week or there, you know, I'm bad with time, last week or thereabouts um, and I'm all muddled up as well because then my son got ill and he was off and you know when the kids are not at school if you're like a mum, but you, like, you lose track of days, it's like school keeps you sort of, anyway, Mark is fine, he is back, um, back home I'm so glad and he's doing fine, still sore but fine and still recovering and he's off work and stuff so there you go, there's the update and the other update is my daughter's friend Eve has came to stay with us for a while um, who I don't want to really say other people's details to so, like circumstances at home so she came to live with us for a while so that has been so lovely having her here she's such a lovely girl um I don't know if she'll ever want to be in one of my videos but if she does I shall show you her she's got hair her hair is so long her hair is down um probably like mid calf almost her ankles it's insanely long anyway yes so everybody okay I'm back Yes, there we go. That's why I was off for a little while because remember I was like, I'm going to do a video every week. Well, the stuff has been sitting, but yeah, the stuff's been happening. Anyway, TK Maxx haul. I can't even remember what stuff's in here. I can sort of see stuff up the top. I think all of this was on super clearance. I can't even remember when it was I was in. It was a while ago, like maybe a month or two ago. But yes, this, I think almost everything was on super clearance. And there's even, I'm just spoiler alert, there's a handbag in there and for me not to take a handbag out the bag and like, you know, like use it and play about with it and look in it and do, you know, like I'm a crazy handbag lady and oh, torture. Anyway, I kept it in there. I have not used it. There is, however, one thing that my daughter did take out of here, which was a body scrub and that is long since gone and it was very nice, but I can't remember the make of it. So I'm very sorry about that. This, I'm just going to quickly tie this down here these are not to everybody's taste so these were these were on super clearance for nine pounds and they've got about five stickers on them so they've went like down 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 let me see if i can see what they were originally 14.99 so from 15 to nine pounds they're by the brand innocence and like i said they're not to everybody's taste they're super high waisted and they're these like would you say like 70s i don't know if these are 70s you see that they're pretty funky they're like orange and blue and green and they're just i just really like them and they've got like a little turn up at the bottom 
and they're just I really like high waisted stuff. I think it's really flattering and it hides all your you know bits that you want hidden. And I just really like them and I just think they'd be really cute. And if I'd have known they were I forgot that these were in here to be honest with you and I would probably have been tempted to wear these. They kind of look like clown trousers when I show them like this. I suppose they kind of are like clown trousers a bit because they're very bright but I really do like them and they're high waisted and I think are they just stretchy or do they have a zip? I think they're just elasticated at the back. So like they look like flat at the front but the back's elasticated so you just pull them up so they'd be super comfy. So I've got those. Next let me see oh my goodness this is none too interesting. It is socks like thick sports sock things. These were in super clearance for £2.50. I should have done this thing with the labels first, but you know I'm not organised. £5, so they were £5 to £2.50, so half price. And there's just giddy ones and black ones, and they're not very exciting. And there's the typical itchy nose as soon as I start filming. I've got the handbag here, but I'm like, did I show you that? I'll, I'll save that to you. I'll give you a little. This is not a handbag, but it's like a handbag accessory type thing. And it is a little Kipling thing. It was, I got it for super clearance for £11 and it was originally £16.99, so £17 to £11. And it looks like this. It kind of looks like, it's got like a metallic look to it. I, I think it actually looks more shiny, see because of that ring light thing. It looks more shiny than it is. It kind of looks like it's been metallic and it's sort of worn down. That's And it feels so soft, like I really, really like the feeling of it. So this little Kipling, I don't know if you would call it a purse. You could definitely use it as a purse, but it's also big enough to use as like a makeup bag or whatever you want to use it for it's got really nice hardware on it and like the gun metal and it's a like quite chunky hardware do you know what I mean like it's very chunky and it looks like this so it's got the little pouch there little pouch here and the zip pouch in the middle so you could definitely use that for like makeup or even I carry about where is it I was going to get it I can't I can't be bothered moving anyway I use a little thing that's got like three little folds in it. It's maybe slightly bigger than this and I literally just, what fell out? Oh, it's the, I better move that in case the dog eats it. It's the little silica packet thing. Anyway, yes, I carry a thing a bit like this in my bag so that when I move from like one high bag to another, like the majority of my stuff, like a shopper bag and like any bits of makeup and plasters and you know, like just everything you kind of want to move from bag to bag, I carry about in something very similar to this. So I may use it as that or I may just use it as a purse or I'm not really sure, but I just really liked it and it's pretty and I like Kipling, I do like that brand, so there's that. If you're wondering where I'm throwing this, it's not like just going over there and down to the floor, I'm throwing my bed is right here, so it's like, it's getting flung on my bed. Right, next thing is this. This was, was reduced to three pounds and, sorry, it's so annoying, and I have got no nails as well, like, I actually painted them, look, for a little change, but I've got like baby teeth, you know, like little baby, why did that, baby shark doo -doo. sorry that song come in my head when I said you know like tiny little nails like you know people have got like long fingernails and they come up to there mine are like dumpy and short and they're not very nice to be honest with you but I painted them yes this was 3 99 down to 3 pounds so it was like a pound off and it is uh, the Nourish Bar Berry Fusion Body Butter. Do you know it's so, it's not like even because I'm nervous that I like think me to read stuff like that, I'm, nor do I wear glasses, but whenever I'm doing videos I sort of look like I do because the ring light is shining in my face and it's so blinding that when you do that you can almost still see a ring light even when you look away from the ring light so it's hard to sort of focus in. So if you see me doing that, it's not that I wear glasses, it's I'm blinded by the ring light. Anyway, the Nourish Bar Berry Fusion Body Butter, it says, uh, every berry needs nourish to wrap yourself in a delicious combination, I don't know what that accent was, I apologise, in a delicious combination of raspberry, blueberry, coconut and strawberry, sounded so good to me, it says 100% Australian made goodness and it just smells lovely, let me see, oh it smells so good, it smells so good, it's like, you're so, like kind of like a sweetie but not over sweet, like not, it does smell fruity and fresh, and a bit holiday kind of with the coconut I think but it's like a sweet smell but not sickly sweet kind of smell and it just I really like it I really need to moisturize more I've always got enough like moisturizers to moisturize a baby elephant but I never really use them um well I'm not good at using them if you know what I mean I need to like get into the routine anyway this another body lotion because you know clearly I was on the thing we have a better moisturize this was on super clearance from two pounds and it's got like two or three stickers on it Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, I'm sorry if this is annoying everybody. 
um, £3.99, so £3.99 to £2, so half price, and it is by the brand, I'm oh, not going to try and say that, Kneep, Kneep, K-N-E-I-P-P, and it's lightweight body lotion, so almond blossom, oh my goodness, I forget what this smells like, so good, really almondy and blossomy, it's not over almondy, it's more, it's not even floral, it's like a really, really fresh scent, that is lovely. It says it's vegan, do do do, I can't, don't, do, that's about all I've got to say about that. Body lotion, so there is no excuse for not moisturising, that is one bag done, I've got two. Okay, so this is a handbag, so I was not looking for a handbag, but as you know, I am very much obsessed with handbags. So they had everything in the shop into like two, like a little square bit, so like an aisle, not an aisle, like a bit at this side and a bit at that side and on this side was all like the beauty stuff you know like moisturising things and all that sort of stuff and makeup and all that kind of thing and then on the other side this smells so good um, and the other is the leather the other side was handbags oh why so close proximity I wish I didn't like go out my way to go to the handbag bit so not technically really my fault but I did get a handbag and it wasn't even like a super cheap handbag however it was on super clearance and it is a really lovely handbag it looks really plain right i may as well just show you and stop like yapping about the handbag it's by the brand i've never heard of this it says another me it's got that like sort of not embossed but like stamped what like you know what i mean like there am i showing that well enough and it's it's great it's the smell and the feel of this it really got you know like that buttery like and i do mean buttery soft like oh my goodness it feels so good and it smells so strongly of leather it's just i love it i really 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 love it it's nothing like fancy but it is that like slouchy type bag that i like i do like like a slouch bag however i have been getting into some more different styles of bags that are a little bit structured i also have a really really weird handbag call of like really quirky handbags i do like like traditionally handbags but i like some crazy handbags and i've got some crazy ones lately Anyway, yes, it's super soft. I hope you can see this. It's like buttery, soft, like, and it's got this long strap here. It's got, it's got very little details on it. It's very plain. It's got the buckles at the sides, like that on both sides, and the hardware is just really nice. I haven't heard of this brand, but you can tell by looking at it that it's like, it's really good quality. The hardware is heavy, and it's just really lovely. And it also comes with its own dust bag with the little name and leather there at the front, another me, and it's just, you can just tell, you know that way you can just tell it's like a really good quality handbag, unlike the quirky, insane ones that, that I've got recently. It's also got, so it's got the other me on there, and then it's got the little key fob bit on here, and it's just really nice and really well made and really lovely. It's got two slip pockets there, and there's a little zip pouch there, and I don't think it's got any other pouches on it. It's just really plain. But for some reason, I just really liked it. I think it was the feel. The feel and the smell just got me. And, oh, I've not even told you how much it was. So I got it for £38 on super clearance. So it went from whatever I'm about to tell you now. I can't see it. Oh, please. Let me be able to see it. Oh, no. Oh, I can't see it. Hold on. I'm having to, like, scrape away. I'm sure it was... Oh, I'm sure it was, like, 89 or 90 I don't know what's happened. I could read that at the time, so I don't know if the light's just blinding me, or I think it says, oh, please. What have I done? I'm sure it said like 80 pounds or 89 or something. I can't remember. But for some reason, being in that bag is faded at the thing, or I'm being blinded by the ring light because I can't see it. But I'm sure it was like 8, 79 or 89 originally, and I got it for 38, which was a very good deal because it's a very lovely handbag and now I can use it and I've got like a nice scarf thing it's really really bright which I was thinking of putting on it just to add a bit of colour to it because it's very grey however grey will go with anything so I do like that and oh look I never even got these to go but they go quite well together so I might use them together right got a little spill at the side me so that I can everything I've done I'm always like going off camera so I was trying to be a bit better organised right this one here this was what i think something has i don't know if something's leaked but there's stuff in this bag that's like like the price is kind of worn off so i don't know if something's leaked in here this has been in, it's got dust from being in the bag i don't know if you can see that it flat 
this bag. Um, this was originally seven ninety nine, and I got it for on super claims for four pounds. It says cuddle defining cream, and that's literally all I know about it. I don't know if you put it in wet hair, dry hair. It is by the brand. I can't see because the the nicely put the sticker right over it. Bio something. Does I don't know. Does it say it anywhere else? I can't see it. It's bio something. I'm not going to take ages and try getting it off. I think you put it on your hair. This on your hair when your hair's wet and it's meant to like. What does it say? For wavy to curly hair. That's formulated in Italy apparently. And yeah, you put it on and it kind of like defines your curls. I have wavy, naturally very wavy to curly hair. And, but I think the weight of my hair, because it's quite long, so the weight of it kind of like pulls the curls out a lot of time. But I thought this might help. And also like naturally my hair is a bit on the frizzy side. So hopefully this will stop it frizzing so much. It needs to cut again, because I find when the layers need cutting, I get my hair cut like once a year. And sometimes once every two years. And when the layers need cut in again, like it just, it doesn't hang nice and the cut, it doesn't stay as curly. Anyway, <sighs> waffle, waffle, waffle. This is 100% natural body oil. Again, obviously I was in a moisturising kick the day that I went to, forgot, TK Maxx. Oh no. This, I got this for £2.50 and it was originally £5.99, so less than half price. It says made in Australia, 100% natural, it's vegan and it's just body I think it's a mixture of like lots of different oils uh, uh, yeah almond oil let me see vitamin c almond oil do, do, do. is there anything else uh grapeseed oil I don't know if there's anything else but it's basically oil I don't know if some of that's coming can you see that like there's maybe that's why it was on super clear so it looks like a bit emptier than you normally get it maybe not I don't know anyway I got it for £2.50 and I thought it was worth trying and I have been using an oil in the shower which I'm going to put that down there in case it looks in my bed um, yes, I've been using an oil in the shower, which I have very much been liking, um, because it means I don't have to come out and moisturise. I can just do it in the shower, and then by the time I come out the shower, I'm done. I don't have to moisturise. These are sheet masks, and they were I got them for two pound fifty, and they were originally five ninety nine, and they're by the brand Valsina Paris, and it says enriched with collagen, and it's just a sheet mask that you set on your face, and I thought I would give it a go. Never tried it. Don't know anything about it. Not that you're going to. How many do you get in it? How many do you get in it? Five. Five sheet masks. So there's that. Let me see. Oh, I've got some more clothes. These are actually men's jeans. I don't know. They were, you know what, for the women's bit meets the man's bit. They were like women's stuff here and then the guy's stuff was kind of facing you. These were at the end of the aisle. And I saw them and I really, I really like them. They're quirky. They're jeans, but they're quirky. I'm just buttoning them back up. However, they're not high-waisted and I do prefer high-waisted, but I do like them. So, let me see. And they were so cheap. I was like, I'm going to just get them. They were £4 and they were originally only £10 and they're from... Where are you from? Where are... Does it say on your label? Zara Man. So, £4. I was like, I'm going to give them a try. And they are... What size are you? Uh, Euro 38. Skinny fit. Yeah, oh, I was going to say are these men, but it says is that a man, so yes, I'm assuming they are men's. They do, however, look more like women's jeans, I think. I don't know, they just about... Maybe not, I don't know. This is where it gets weird. So, they've got distressing, so they're like... What do you call them, mid-rise or low-rise? I think they might be low-rise. I just really like the distressing on them. They're not a thick, thick denim, so they've got distressing here, distressing here. Then a sort of hole at the knee, and then a zip. Which actually works, it's not just for display, so it actually, it's not just for looking weird, it actually is functional. Why can't I get it to function? Because I, there we go. So you could, if you wanted to, like unzip them and have them, like kind of like, make them look kind of flared. Or if you just did like a nice little high, t high heel with like front detail on it and you wanted to show it like a Bianco strip or something, you could have it open like this. I just like the weirdness of them because you know I like weird stuff and this side also has the rip knee and the zip they were just weird enough to catch my attention i like the feel of them because they weren't like thick like super thick jeans the back are just plain and they look like they've been like cut off they've got that like raw cut edge and i just i don't know i like the zips and i hadn't seen anything like them and i don't really care that they're men's jeans because you know it's not like oh i was going to say something really bad it's not like they've got a little pouch or anything for a bit like i'm just going to stop now i'm just going to stop now okay this is by the brand t 
Tizerand, I don't know if I'm saying that properly, it's aromatherapy and it's peppermint and it was obviously brought out with their Christmas stuff and this is probably, that was probably what it was, super clearance after Christmas, I bet this is how long I've had this and this is what, March? April, March, this is March, right? March, wow, I've had this a while, um, five, now, maybe I haven't, had, anyway, it doesn't matter, I'm doing it now, Five ninety nine. I got it for £2, it's peppermint oil, peppermint oil smells so good, I like to use it in like, make your own cleaning stuff, like cleaning sprays, it just smells really really good, but it's like one of those smells that kind of make your mouth water kind of smells, and I really liked it, and like I said, no, wait a minute, that was the RRP, sorry, the RRP was 5 99 they were selling it for 3 99 and I got it for £2, so half price, and that's the name of the brand that I was probably pronouncing, and you can see by the packaging, it's obviously Christmassy, but got that. Next thing is, oh, this is room and body mist, so you can either use it for your house, or you can use it for yourself, and this is a weird one, it's blue gum and basil, never, never a combination I've ever heard of before, I got it in clearance for £2.50, I told you all the stuff was on, like, I was going to say almost all the stuff, but I think actually all the stuff so far has been on super claims, I do like a bargain. Um, so they were selling it originally for £4.99 and I got it for £2.50, so half price, and it says 100% plant based skincare, it's the weirdest smell, I'm bad at describing smells but I don't even know how I would describe this, oh, it's so weird, you can smell the basil so it's got like an earthy smell, oh but I can also smell, oh I smell something I don't like, oh I never smelled this at the time, again this has got packaging that looks a bit Christmassy, it's got like Christmas sort of twigs and stuff about and berries, but it's got a smell of like aniseed. Is that that's not what blue gum is? What I'm probably like you're probably shouting at me like what the smell is, but ah, oh, why did I spray it on my arm? Oh, I just get my TK Maxx receipt. I don't like that now. When I smell that in the shop, I really like it because I usually like the like, candles and stuff that are oh, it's stuck. Oh, don't linger. Ooh, just leave it on this and then take the jumper off. Anyway, oh, now I stink of aniseed. I hate aniseed day smells. It's horrible. It reminds me of Uso. And once when I was younger, I drank, not like young, young like a child, but I drank far too much Uso and I was a little bit sick. And you know, like, <laughs> like it's licorice. That's what it smells like. Licorice, aniseed day. Uh -huh. Anyway, I drank too much Uso and, and I was a little bit sick. And you know like when something makes you sick, even if you're ill and you're sick and like whatever you've eaten last or oh, I won't even, you may even be eating your dinner at the time. I don't like this. Oh, that is very disappointing. I like this in the shop. I bet you Mark will like that because he likes aniseed type scents. No, no. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Next thing, oh these are weird. These are, it says Patchness Paris Lip Patch Pink. I got them for £2.50, gonna have to do that editing scratchy 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 thing, I'm doing it kind of fast, 5 99 so let me see, okay I'll open these up, these are so weird looking, so there are little patches for your mouth like hydrating patches that are shining bad, I hope you can see that like that, and can you see that, you put them on your lips and they moisturise your lips, they're like in liquid, like a clear liquid and you put them on your lips and they moisturise your lips like super hydrate your lips so there's that and you get oh many do you get five five patches so i'll get five face masks to do and five little lip mask things to do so there's that right next is a clothing item this was this on clearance yes of course it was what am i thinking that oh my goodness this went down a few times i think this has got five stickers on it so i got it for five pound super clearance and it was originally Hold on, hold on, hold on. £12.99. Oh, well, that's not bad at all. This is a long skirt. It kind of looks like trousers when I hold it like this. It's a long skirt. It's very thin, actually. Like, it's very... It, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite sheer. It's dark, but it's, like, sheer. Do you know what I mean? Like, dark in colour. But when I'm doing that, I can kind of see through it a bit. Anyway, I thought this would be good because... I was going to say in the winter, but, you know, we're coming into spring now, and I thought I should have done this all soon, sooner. But... Yes, I thought this would be good in the winter with like black tights and stuff underneath it and in the summer with just, I'm thinking maybe a slip or certainly some, some granny pants because it's 
it's kind of sheer but in the winter with you know like boots and tights so kind of an all year round type thing and it's got buttons to it there so the rest is like open but it's not like cut up crazy short or anything and it's elasticated waist and I do like an elasticated waist because it's very very comfy. Right, let me see how many things we've got left. They're all kind of down. Hold on. Oh, I think we're down to one, two, three, four things. So we've got these for £1.50. Super clearance, obviously. Let me see. Do, do, do. I think they were originally, oh, I can't see. I think it said £3.99, £2.99, £2.99 to £1.50. Um, they're, they're false lashes but the band in them they're very spacey and the band in them is very very not very it is invisible and I thought these might be quite nice I kind of kid myself with false eyelashes I go through little phases where I do think they look gorgeous and you see a lot of like youtubers and stuff wearing false eyelashes I have never I don't think I've ever done a video with false eyelashes on I don't know if you can see I've actually like I don't know how to hold my eyelashes in a way that you can see them I do have like long eyelashes but they're really really spacey and so I, I do like the idea of wearing false eyelashes so that it just makes them look like fuller um, and a bit more dramatic and I do think they look really lovely but they get on my nerves and I don't like them but every now and again I kid myself that I can wear them and so I buy them and I thought £1.50 you know not too much to pay for kidding yourself that you're going to wear false eyelashes that you're probably not going to wear this was, oh this is a weird wee purchase, so this was £1.50, this was one of the ones where the packaging just got me, it's by the brand Fancy, no, it looks like it should be fancy but it's not fancy, it's F-A-S-E-Y, F-A, I, I don't know, I really, I'm going to show you but I don't know, there, I don't even know if you care, but it's that, I got it for £1.50 and it was, did I do this already, I don't think I did, £2.99, and the packaging got me. It's got this cute little lady on it. She looks very pretty. Got a little neck scarf look. It's just so cute. It looks like something for a kid. Maybe it is. I don't know. But it says, I'm sure it says it's a lip balm, but it looks more like, oh, that. that's what's weird about the packaging. It opens weird, so it's like a screw and click. What? There. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, I've probably smushed it. Have I smushed it? I've not smushed it. We're fine. It's pink very very pink pink actually pinker than i remember i have used it i never like i never buy lip stuff when somebody's used it it was me that did that i did like the swatchy thing when i got home but it says lip balm but i remember like thing went in my hand and it looks more like lipstick i thought it was going to be like sheer because it's lip balm but it's actually not click go click oh, how disappointing there we go sorry there we go there's that Right, last two things. Also scrubs, remember I said I had a scrub, my daughter used it. Um, this one is a coffee scrub. My daughter bought me a coffee scrub from Lush. Love it, absolutely love it. You can use it on your face and body. I love it, it's so good. This one, I don't think, this one's just for your body, I think. Um, it says therapy range, coffee body scrub, cocoa, vanilla. Oh my goodness, it says made in New Zealand since 1990. I got it for, wait a minute and I'll tell you the price. I got it for £2.50. And it was, let me see, 5 99 And let's see, I'm pretty sure it smells like coffee. I don't even know why I'm opening it. It does smell like coffee. But also vanilla, like a sweet coffee. It's really nice. It's very thick. Like, oof, I've got beige carpets really, really living dangerously there. Um, yeah, it's nice and thick, like really thick. The one from... Um, I'm trying to say the one from Lush has got more of like an oil stuff in it. Maybe this will when you mix it up, but it's nice and thick as it is, and it smells really lovely. Did I say the aromatherapy code? Did I say where it was from? Anyway, there's that. So I can shove that in the shower now. And another scrub. I must have been on some sort of like scrub and moisturize kit because there's a lot of moisturizer and scrub. Got this for £2.50 and it was any guesses? Any guesses? Come on. Oh, this one's coming off one label at a time. Nope. I can't see. I can't. It's disappeared. I don't know. 
I know that it went from four ninety nine because that's the red price before it. I got it for two pound fifty, so it was probably like five or six pound something. And it's Nerolina Nidol, Nidol, and lavender. Can you see that? And I'm sure it smells lovely. I love it, and it smells like lavender. Oh, it smells so good. That smells like this one is going to tip, but this one looks like sand. Can you see that? Oh, come out in a big sort of clump. Some of it's kind of clumped up, but it literally looks like sand, but it smells so good. That smells like real essential oils, like real genuine like lavender rather than like synthetic -y smells. That is really, really nice. I like this a lot. I'm excited about using this. Anyway, I think that's it. Is that it? My cat's over there in the chair, literally looking at me like I'm a weirdo. My cat really pay, he like he's more a man's cat because he likes Alexander and he likes Mark. Whereas he just, the only time he ever really pays me any attention is when he wants fed. And he's sitting in the chair looking at me like, why are you talking to yourself, crazy lady? Like he's literally, like, if a cat, now if you are a cat, you know, cats can draw you dirty looks. They do, I'm sure they're plotting evil. But yeah, he looks at me like, who are you talking to? There's like a, a light. And a, and a camera, you silly lady. Anyway, he's literally looking at me like... <sighs> anyway, being drawn dirty looks by a cat. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to go and I'm going to try. It's pretty late, so I'm going to just check how late it is. And then I might just like keep on a roll and so you might see me with the same sweatshirt on again. And I might film at least one more video, which will be a chat shot call. I'm going to have to break it up because it's like there's like four to do. Anyway, I'm really glad to be back and I really really missed you and I'm so glad like everything's settled and I'm so glad to be back with you and I'll see you guys really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!